high bed insurance in the previous videos i discussed properties of determinants so in the in, in that uh, videos i discussed the five properties and today's class i am going to discuss the sixth property my dear students the sixth property the statement already i wrote here so just we will verify the whatever we i wrote here this property i will verify now so before verifying that uh, first we will read the statement so what is that if to each element of any row or column of a determinant the equi multiples of corresponding elements of other row or column are added then the value of the determinant remains same so to understand this matrix well, i'll take one example so let us take let so let us take delta is equal to i'm taking here it is delta as a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 i consider the one determinant so what the meaning of the statement is my dear students so this is the the one determinant i consider here it is now i take another one determinant let us take it as let delta 1 is equal to so how to take the delta 1 means my dear students here to the any row or to the any column if here it is the statement says as if to each element of any row or column so first i consider the first row one i consider the row one clear so if to each to each element of any row or column in this particular example i am in this particular example i am taking here it is row one clear so column of a determinant the equi multiples of corresponding elements of other row or uh, row or row or column are added it means that conditions i will consider the row 1 now to this row 1 what i do the to this row 1 i will to this row 1 i will add with corresponding other row corresponding i will consider here it is corresponding other one row that is row 3 i am considering to that corresponding here it is equi multiples of corresponding elements of other row or column to the third row i will multiply with the constant equi multiples means to the by the equal number k i am multiplying each element of the row 3 clear so that i am writing like this clear so this we will write i wrote in terms of the operation so what is the operation my dear here the operation i did is here to the row 1 my dear to the row 1 i am adding with the equi multiples of the corresponding row so this is the third row to the third row elements i am multiplying with the k and then i am adding this with the row 1 elements so this operation i am writing so this this property says that so in this case so delta 1 let us take the delta 1 so let delta 1 i am taking here it is by adding the by multiplying k to the row 3 elements and then i am adding into the row 1 element that i am taking it as let that i am taking this as the delta 1 so how will be the elements in the delta 1 the elements in the delta 1 will be like this that is a1 plus k into c1 a1 plus k into c1 a1 plus k into c1 next similarly a2 plus k into a2 plus k into c2 next a3 into k into c3 a3 into k k i'm multiplying with this third row elements k into c3 clear so now my dear students like this only i'll change here it is row 1 only here row 1 is changing so therefore and many elements will be as it is b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 now they are telling that this determinant and this determinant are same remains the same added then value of the determinant remains the same so this is the meaning of the property now i verify this property so just i repeat the things my students the property says here it is if to each if 
to each element of any row or column. Any row. Now I am considering row one. To the row here, row of a determinant, the equimultiples of corresponding elements of other row or column. To the third row, I am equimultiples. So equally multiplied by k. So therefore, equimultiples of corresponding other row. To the third row, I multiplied with the constant k. Clear. So if you multiplied and then if you added means, so then to this row one, if I added means, then the determinants, so elements of the other row or column are added. I added here this are added, are added. Then value of determinant remains the same. So they are telling that the value of this determinant is same as this determinant only. If you solve this determinant, whatever answer you will get, the same answer you will get if you solve this determinant also. It means that delta and this matrix, sorry, this determinant and this determinant are same. There is no any difference. Clear? That is the meaning of the property. And now that is only element here. It is the value of determinant remains same if we apply the operations. So here they given you in terms of the words and here they wrote in terms of the operations. Symbolically we will we can write like this. That is nothing but Ri changes to Ri plus K into Rj. It means that you can take any row and row to whichever is your wish you can take row and row to row three like that. So therefore we are giving in general I to the any row you can add with the multiplying equal multiplying with the corresponding row. It means that here, here, here I am doing like this. To the row 1, I multiplied with the k. To the row 3, and then I added. So like this, symbolically, they give, they give it to you here. Either you can use symbol, uh, sorry, you can use by row wise, row wise, or you can use by column wise. So this is the statement of the properties, meaning just to understood. But now, I will verify whether this, this determinant value is same as this or not. Yes, that I am going to or we, I will be exact. So my dear friends, we should, my aim is to prove that, keep in mind, I should show here delta is equals to delta 1. It means that this determinant and this determinant are equal. If I show that means, I can, I can conclude that yes, this determinant and this determinant are equal. That means, the value remains same as it is. If you solve this determinant, the answer whatever you will get, the same answer you will get if you solve this determinant also. That is the meaning. It means that this determinant are, this determinant are equal. To show that, what should I show? Delta is equal to delta 1. Clear? And now what is delta 1? Delta 1 is nothing but here to the row 1 elements, I am multiplying with k with k by any every element of the row 3 and then I am adding this after multiplying k to this row 3 elements I am adding to the row 1 elements so after after doing all this operation whatever I am getting that I am calling it as delta 1 clear so now I will solve this one so therefore delta 1 is equal to my dear students in the previous classes we discussed in, in, in the determinant if some or all elements of any row or column is sum of the two terms, then we can separate that that determinant into some or more determinants that I discussed in the previous previous videos. Clear? So now by using that property, I can write here it is a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. And next plus of kc1, kc2, kc3, remaining elements as it is b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. By property, in the previous videos, I discussed that here, by the strengths, in the row 1, the elements are sum of the two terms a1 and kc1, a2, kc2, a3, kc3. Now, if this is the case, then this determinant can be expressed as sum of the two term determinants. To, to sum of the two determinants we can express. This is by the property. Clear? And now my additions again write this as it is a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, 
C3 plus of migrations again we discussed that in the properties to the any elements of the to the in the any in the determinant in any row or column is multiplied with the some constant k then this determinant value is k times multiples of the original determinant that also we discussed or else in the first row here i can take the k common just take the in the first row k common you can take so what is remaining c1 c2 c3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 this is also by the properties clear and now my dear students again we have the property the, before that i write this one a1 here it is a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 and now my dear students k into can i write this entire determinant value as 0 i am writing this determinant value as 0 because Again, we have the property in a determinant. If if in the determinant, if any two rows or columns are identical, then the determinant value is equal to zero. I think that is from the property number three. I discussed that. So what it says, the property number three says, my dear students, in a determinant, if any two rows or columns are identical, then the determinant value is zero so here the row 1 and row 3 elements are identical so therefore this determinant value is zero so therefore delta 1 is equals to my dear students a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 it is it nothing but delta only clear a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 so therefore instead of writing this can i write this as this as delta So this is what I show here. So it means that so delta one means what conditions? Delta one means this is your delta one. So this value is equal to delta one is equal to delta. It means this determinant. So therefore, in in a in a determinant, if you apply if you apply the operation like this, then the value will remain as it is. The value will remains the same. So this is what our property number six says. So what what is the problem six says? so in any determinant in any determinant if you in any determinant if you if we multiply the corresponding rows or column and then if you add it then the value of that determinant will become same as the the value will become same as the same as whatever after solving this the normal determinant or after solving whatever you will answer get the same answer you will get if you apply this operation Clear. So, my questions. These are the six operations, very very important. And now we will discuss the remaining sum of properties comes symmetric and skew symmetric that we will discuss later. But as of now, these six properties are mainly very very important. So, please you should know or you should understand all these properties clearly. Then only you can solve the questions. So now I will solve the questions next. videos i will solve the questions in that i will use all these properties clear so before solving the questions you should know all these six properties clear and now i will uh, two minutes i will just explain in kannada what i did here this so now again i will tell you namaga property number 6 a nalli namu anta helidare yavude one determinant alli yavude row athwa column elements ige yavude row athwa column idu elements ige nan enadru bere yavude row athwa column elements iga one constant number ina multiply maadi add maadidre andre avage enagutiti when you avag add madadaga namaga adu add madadaga ina one determinant iruthiti ee determinant value same iruthiti थर्ड रोल मलटिप्लाई 
So add one of the data and determine the data and the data and the data. So here is the operation, how they go to how they go to the elements and how they go to the column and the elements here. New, Matun corresponding very other row of column and elements again. Equi multiple, the constant number and the two elements, the constant number and the multiplier money. So, Yavadin and row again, you add money under, so our determinant value in Angela, change Angela. So, normal determinant in a day, other determinant in the value will be. So, that is what our delta one is equals to delta. Clear? So, then I'll prove it in it. So, remaining some values of the properties of the whole next class will click the next field of the way but as of now we are going to look at the main idea of the next properties of these six properties will go to the way clear so these six properties are very very useful while solving the questions clear and in the next video my dear students we will discuss the questions based on these properties thank you